Irrigation is a water enema that can be used for emptying the bowel if the stool is relatively firm. You can only use this method if your stoma is created from the very last part of your large intestine. You must never start using irrigation without having prior advice and training from a stoma care professional. It is recommended that training can begin no sooner than 10 days after surgery. Irrigation should not be done occasionally. It should be done routinely every 48 hours. Since irrigation takes up to an hour, your family members' routines of using the bathroom should be considered. To perform the irrigation procedure, you will need an irrigation bag to contain the water for the irrigation, a cone to be inserted in the stoma and lead the water into the stoma, a regulator to regulate the flow of water into the stoma, and a sleeve to be attached to the base plate and lead the evacuation of faeces from the stoma to the toilet. In the following, the irrigation procedure is demonstrated when normally using an ostomy bag that is attached to a base plate by a plastic coupling. If you do not use such a system, you can irrigate by attaching a pressure plate to the skin with an irrigation belt. When you use the irrigation system, water will flow from the irrigation bag, through the regulator, and finally enter the stoma via the cone. Start by making sure that the flow regulator is completely closed. Connect the tube on the cone to the flow regulator. Fill the irrigation bag with approximately half a litre of lukewarm water. During the irrigation you can sit or stand as you please. Hang the water bag so that the bottom is at shoulder height. The higher you hang the bag, the faster the water will enter your stoma. The temperature of the water should be between 36 and 38 degrees Celsius. This corresponds to 97 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Correct temperature of the water is indicated by a mark. Regulate the temperature of the water until the reading is between 36 and 38 degrees Celsius. Water that is hotter than 60 degrees Celsius will destroy the thermometer. 60 degrees Celsius corresponds to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Open the flow regulator and allow the water to flow through the tube to remove any air. When the tube is filled with water, close the flow regulator. The sleeve is connected to the base plate as follows. Ensure the lock ring is open. Press the sleeve and base plate together starting at the bottom. Run your fingers around the coupling on the outside of the sleeve from the bottom to the top. When a slight click is heard, the sleeve is securely positioned on the base plate. The sleeve may be turned to its optimal position. Then close the lock ring. When you hear a click, the sleeve is securely locked to the base plate. Place the end of the sleeve in the toilet. The sleeve must not reach the water in the toilet. Cut the length of the sleeve to the appropriate length if necessary. Now gently put your finger into the stoma to feel in which direction the cone should be inserted in order to follow the intestine. You might choose to wear a glove for this purpose. If necessary, lubricate the cone with water before use. Then insert the tip of the cone in the stoma through the top of the sleeve. Keep the cone in the right position in the stoma with one hand. You might want to wrap the top of the sleeve around the tube to avoid potential soiling. Open the flow regulator slowly. The flow of water can be regulated by adjusting the speed on the flow regulator or by gently adjusting the position of the cone in the stoma. 
let the prescribed amount of water in over approximately 10 minutes. Then stop the water flow. Inside the intestine, the water will provoke peristaltic movements, forcing the intestine to empty feces and water. Now remove the cone from the stoma. After removal of the cone, there might be a slight evacuation of water and feces. When you've removed the cone, roll the upper end of the sleeve and close the sleeve with the clip. During the next 20 minutes or so, water and feces will evacuate in portions. For the intestine to evacuate completely, wait another 20 minutes or so. If you wish, you can use the waiting time for other activities. Before moving away from the toilet, rinse the sleeve with water left over in the irrigation bag. Ensure that the bottom of the sleeve is clean before folding it up. Secure it with a clip, such as a clothes peg with a spring. You can now freely move around. When the evacuation is completed, unfold the sleeve and place the bottom of the sleeve in the toilet to empty the content. Remove the irrigation sleeve by unlocking the lock ring and gently pulling the tab upwards and outwards. Do not pull on the lock itself. Rinse the end of the sleeve as you flush the toilet. Do not flush the sleeve down the toilet. After removal of the sleeve, clean and dry the base plate as usual. You might also wish to change the base plate. Use a mini cap or a mini bag until next time you irrigate. To clean the cone of the irrigation set, detach the tube from the flow regulator. Clean it with soap and water and dry it. The rest of the irrigation set is cleaned with water and dried. Put a piece of folded toilet paper in the irrigation bag to absorb any moisture. 